make a quick video here to show you how to uh, import data into your um, MATLAB program using the import data paste special operation. Now, um, here's a, uh, uh, a MATLAB script that I wrote up um, uh, recently. And um, first thing uh, off the bat, I'm going to want to set up some arrays or use some arrays. I have R is a array of resistor values. A is going to be a square matrix. Um, C is going to be a column vector. And um, in the operation of performing this program, I want to be able to find the inverse of A. Now, the value of A, what is A? You see, over here, I'm looking at my workspace. You can see I have nothing in here. Uh, no, no variables are defined. So when I try to run the program, specifically, um, uh, the program is going to has an input for the array R, but it doesn't have A. It'll give me an error. Watch. I just hit run, and uh, I'm getting error. In 10 element circuit, which is the name of the script, line 4, it says that A, the, the values of the A matrix uh, uh, here, it doesn't have, actually it, it uh, doesn't have values for the A matrix there. Undefined function of variable A. So how do I uh, import that data in the square matrix? It's a 10 by 10 element array A. Well, in order to do that, what I'm going to do is come back over here <clears throat> to my uh, file. It's a, actually a Mac Pages file, but this also applies with Word or Excel or anything where you might actually have an array of numbers. And I want to copy this array. Now, there are 10 rows and 10 columns down here. So I want to read this entire matrix. Um, actually, it looks like... Uh, uh, here, okay, this is 10 by 10. Now you say, oh, but it goes down to 11. Yeah, but it starts up at 2. So I want to import this array into my matrix A in the MATLAB file. So I can do that right down here. It doesn't have to be up here in the script. It can be down here. So I'm going to type A equals, I'm going to type import data paren, single quote, minus, minus sign, oh, did that wrong, minus sign, and then I put paste special uh, single quote and paren. So when I, now if I hit return, what this does is it reads the 10 by 10 array that I have in my, uh, in my clipboard. So I'll hit return, and oh, it's got 5x5 five five here. Why did it only have 5x5 five five in for A? I must have done, let me try it again. Let me come back here, and I want to, I have this selected. I just, there to there, and I want to copy it into my clipboard. Maybe I neglected to do that last time. And now I want to import a equals import paste special, and I just hit my up arrow key. It re, uh, it just uh, reinserts the previous line. Now I hit return, and indeed now I have A is 10 by 10 double. Now I want to input C in the same way. So I'm going to come back here, and C is going to be this column vector, a 10 element column vector right there. So I copy this into my clipboard. Now I come back in here, and I put, uh, I'll hit the up arrow key again, but now I don't want to import A again, I want to import C, so I backspace and put C, and now um, I'm going to hit uh, return. So it should have C here. Uh, C is that uh, 10 element column vector. Okay, right here, notice there's zero, semicolon, zero, semicolon, and so on. So now it should have uh, the matrices A and C. 
Um, and so it should be able to execute this operation, b equals inverse a. Now, I don't have everything yet in the program. It won't quite run right here, but let me run it anyway. So I hit run, and it has a here. It has to has a bunch of columns, columns 1 through 5, columns 6 through 10, has C, and then it warns that the matrix is almost singular according to MATLAB. In fact, it may be singular, so it it won't compute this inverse operation, or it will, but I can't count on there on it being an accurate solution. And you see, it gives me B. It computes the inverse, but B isn't even in a format that it can display ind individual values of B. Okay, so it doesn't like that A. It gives me an error. But but let me come back up on the program here. I have in the program I import A two also using a paste special. But this is going to be imported as the program executes. These values, A and C, were imported prior to the program and are now loaded into my workspace. I don't need to import them again. But I have A2 is actually imported when the program executes, when the script executes. So let me copy what A2 is going to be. It's going to be here to here, this is A2. We'll come back here. So I wanted to import A2. Now the C2, it's not asking to import that again. I I have actually typed that in right here. So the program will have what's in C2 when the script actually executes down to this line. The script hasn't yet executed without an error down to this line, so C2 doesn't appear in the workspace. But now I've copied what I want to be in A2, so when the script gets down to this line, A2 import data paste special, it will import A2 from my clipboard. And um, now, Matrix must be square. Okay, what which matrix must be square? Okay, do I have A2? Um, import maybe I when I imported A2, it wasn't imported as a uh, square matrix. Let me try it again here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I want to import this. So that's A2. It looks like a square matrix. OK. Now I come back here, execute the program. And it says, error in town element line 12. Oh, B2. Solve the matrix A2, OK, equals C2. So it's not. It's actually having a problem here in line 12, computing the inverse of A2. <clears throat> and uh, so let's see here. As A2, notice that A2, it, it has that uh, value for C in A2. So it's still something's going wrong here. Let me try this again. Select this here. Select this. I shift click, copy. Okay, now I try to run there for whatever reason. I, I was doing something wrong. Now it's read A2 in from the clipboard, so it doesn't give me that error. Okay, and it executes the whole program right here. So when I use the import data paste special command, I can either import the array values before running the script or I can have the script itself import from the clipboard. But if I do that, I can't have, let's say, for example, A2 be imported from the clipboard and C2 be imported uh, from the clipboard because I can't hold two arrays in my clipboard simultaneously. But this just sort of illustrates uh, how that, how importing data 
uh, can be done uh, in this fashion. So uh, see you next time.